Hello and welcome to Treble D. This is part of our tutorial on how to use SketchUp Free, the browser-based version of SketchUp, to make this cute and compact attic home. Treble D is free to download from trebled.com and is free for education purposes. In our last video we made level 1. In this video we'll make the attic rooms of level 2. The first thing we do is go over to the walk and roof scene and select this roof module. We grab it by the base and jump back over to the model view. We rotate it 90 degrees and drop it into place over the guide post. Now we tap the blue arrow key and drop it down and enter in 7 feet or 2.1 meters using the keyboard. Now we explode the roof module. Then open up the wall group for editing and pull the base of it down 2 feet or 600 millimeters. We then pull the roof over to cover the house. Now we need to make copies of the wall. We select the wall and drag it over. Tap the right arrow key and enter in 12 feet or 3600 millimetres. Then we type in times 3, x3, to create an array. This will give us three copies of the wall. Now we jump over to the walk and roof view and select this dormer module. We grab it by the base, we jump back to our model and place it in the corner. We move it over 3 feet or 900 millimetres. Now we make a copy and move it over 24 feet or 7.2 metres. I'm just going to flip this attic on groups red, so it's an actual mirror reverse of the first one. Now we select both dormers, we use the rotate tool, tap the up key to lock in the blue direction, then we find the centre of the main roof and find the end of the roof, tap the control key to make a copy and rotate to the other end of the roof. Now we select all four dormers and choose explode. And we save our changes of course. Now we pull the floors of the dormers into place. Because these dormers are components, if we change one of them, the others will also change. Now we're going to make the walls and floors for our stair area. So we edit this wall using the line tool. We use the lower wall as, a, as an inference point and do the same at the other end. Then we just pull the walls across. Next we create the floor by selecting this line and make a copy using the attic floor as a reference point. Then we pull out the floor to suit the stair. If we tap control we can make 
a copy to create the L-shaped floor for the landing. So we choose hide rest of model and then we push it over a bit. Then we deselect hide to get the floor where we want it to suit the stair. Then clean up the unwanted line. To create the other internal walls, we have an option to use this wall group. It's in the miss and out scene. We grab it by the base and make a copy and jump over to the level two view. We put it roughly where we want it, then wiggle it into place by matching the center point of the group and the center line of the attic. We then pull it up to the appropriate height, a little bit higher than the attic wall, and we can fine tune that later, and we just pull it across. Now we're going to make the bathroom walls. We select the bedroom wall and push it into place, put it up against the outside wall, then we pull it over 8 feet or 2400 millimetres. We adjust the height roughly. Then make a copy for the second bathroom. Next we need to explode our dormer windows by selecting the windows. We choose explode. We push the exposed face through the wall and do the same for the other window. Now we need to make all these elements into a group. We select them, choose make group, then assign it to the level 2 layer. For presentation purposes, we need to make all of these walls or shells into one clean group. So we go to the shell view, we make sure the level 2 layer is enabled. Now we disable doors and windows, so we see only the shell. As you can see, these bedrooms are components now, so we're going to change that. We select them all and choose explode. Then we select them all and choose make group and we assign it to the shells layer. Next we edit the group, we select all and choose intersect faces with context. Then we go through with the razor tool and clean it all up. We remove all our junction lines Go to the bottom and clean all that up too. As you can see, we've placed doors in the rooms. We've done that using the component browser and assigned them to the doors and windows layer, the same way we did for level one. Now we populate level 2 with furniture, we just copy from the bed and bath scene and paste it into the level 2 group. And we just jiggle it around to get it where we want it. Now, we don't want this closet to poke through the roof, so we choose Make Unique and edit the group using the Line tool and Push Pull. Now we do the same for the bathrooms. 
We can edit these shower screens the same way we edited the closet. And there we have it. Level 2 is good to go. You can tune in for part 3 where we're going to fine tune our model. Cheers from Triple D.